Hey, I made it to Texas. <laughs> I've never been to the panhandle of Texas before. I've been to other parts of Texas, but it's been many years. And, um, you know, leaving New Mexico and entering Texas within a few miles, it gets completely flat as a pancake. <laughs> it's like an obvious uh, change. Um, and right now I am at the Cadillac Ranch. You know, you've seen it on probably dozens of other YouTubers' videos. Um, the cars stuck in the middle of a cornfield or some kind of field. Um, I am not walking over there because it is completely packed with people. Take a look. So it's literally just right along the side of the highway and it's in the middle of a cornfield and there are dozens of cars and even more people. <laughs> Yeah, they just walk through the uh, fields here and apparently just toss their garbage around because there's garbage everywhere. Well, <laughs> so much for this uh, Route 66 roadside attraction. I'm almost home. Look, uh, graffiti and traffic. Am I in Chicago? Nope. <laughs> you can probably see there's the uh, St. Louis Arch there. So, and the St. Louis Arch is the gateway to the Midwest. So I am back in the Midwest, but I am still a whole days away from Chicago. Some great graffiti here. Very urban. The West Coast, not very urban. Making me feel at home. And there's the arch. So no offense to the Midwest intended, but I would so rather be on the West Coast right now. Um, you know, the traffic, the gray skies. <laughs> um, yeah, so. St. Louis is an interesting city though. I haven't spent a lot of time in it, but I've spent a lot of time driving through it, or not a lot of time, but I've driven through it many times. And there's really beautiful architecture here. Um, I always think of Chicago as, you know, the uh, number one for architecture, well, definitely in the Midwest, but, um, but it's, uh, the architecture here in St. Louis is more the houses and the smaller buildings. Um, driving through, they're just, it almost looks like Boston. They're just beautiful old row homes with, you know, really unique um, brick architecture. It's beautiful. Um, Chicago really is the uh, home of, uh, of the skyscraper, so. But um, St. Louis has some beautiful houses. Uh, look, there's the arch the side view can't really tell what it is and there's the Mississippi River haven't seen that in a long time I'm officially in the Midwest boo just kidding love you Midwest <laughs> I realize that uh, most people in the country kind of consider the Midwest is just flyover states um, I kind of get it. I know everyone has heard of Chicago, uh, but the rest of the Midwest, I don't know. People don't care that much about it. It's like, where, 
where the corn is grown and where the cows come from or something. You can take the boy out of the Midwest, but you can't take the Midwest out of the boy. I am in Lincoln, Illinois, and this is the rail splitter. It's the world's largest uh, covered wagon. <laughs> um, it is. Uh, it does hold the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest covered wagon in the world. It is 40 feet long, 12 feet wide, 25 feet tall, and it's built out of Illinois oak and steel in 2001. Oh, it's not that old. It's usually covered, um, but it's winter here still, unfortunately. Uh, so now, it's no, not so covered wagon. Not such a covered wagon. And there is Honest Abe. Everything in this part of Illinois is Abraham Lincoln related. Um, it's kind of cool. There he is, reading a law book. Hi, Abe. So I gotta say, I am not prepared for this weather. You know, I grew up in Illinois, but <laughs> um, I was telling myself it's gonna be spring by the time I get back, and it is 35 degrees and raining. Well, it's, right now it's drizzling. It has been raining on and off. And my warmest coat is not warm enough. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this. I'm in Atlanta, Illinois, and this is one of those cute little Route 66 towns um, that have mostly just dried up and shut down. But there's something special about Atlanta, Illinois. Take a look. It's Paul Bunyan and a giant hot dog. <laughs> So this guy, Paul Bunyan, um, used to be in Cicero, Illinois, and he uh, sat next or stood next to a hot dog shop. And uh, from what I understand, there used to be tons of these guys. Uh, this guy is still near Chicago, Wilmington, which is like a far out suburb. He's called the Gemini Giant, and he is holding a rocket ship. I've seen him before. Probably won't see him on this trip back, but he's pretty cool. And then there's this guy, which is in Springfield, and I kind of wish I would have stopped and seen him, because I've never seen him before. But they're all the same guy. Some of them have beards, some of them have rockets, some have tires, and some have hot dogs. <laughs> Pretty cool. This town is really cute. It um, kind of plays up some of the Route 66 stuff, but mostly it's just i've been here once before and mostly it's just shut down like there are businesses but they never seem to be open the grill is open which is super cute little place but nothing else is ever open and there's almost never anyone on the streets and hardly even cars <laughs> it's kind of sad sure at one time this place was kind of uh hopping Chicago. 
<laughs> yeah, this is how people drive in Chicago. Uh, it actually just started moving the traffic, but bumper to bumper, Saturday afternoon. This probably continues almost all the way to downtown, which is probably still 20 miles. <laughs> I can see the Sears Tower ahead, but it's pretty far away. God, I miss Chicago. <laughs>